Welcome back to a different style of episode, as you might have read in the title. Uh, we're making a chicken wire ghost today. So it's the first day of fall, and uh, yeah, let me show you some of the materials we're going to use to do that. So we've got the poultry netting, uh, which I don't understand if uh, chicken wire is a brain or a brand name, um, but it's a poultry netting. But it's just chicken wire, so you know the hex pattern. I've uh, got some LED lights, which I'm going to fill the uh, lady with um, various pliers and stuff and then gloves because this stuff is essentially you know little needles if you will as soon as you cut it it becomes extremely sharp uh, gloves are a must uh, that being said I guarantee we will still poke ourselves multiple times today so uh, yeah just then I just <laughs> running my hand across it so yeah uh, let that be known that you will probably poke yourself um, so we're gonna set up a time-lapse camera we're gonna base the model on Kim and uh, yeah, we're gonna make a Victorian lady ghost in a nice big dress. Hang on, hold on. How are we gonna pose it though? I don't know, we'll pose you and then we'll pose it. Not like that. No, no, no T-bowing. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. So Kim and I have done it. We have made ourselves a Victorian lady out of chicken wire mesh. And uh, yeah, let's uh, show you guys what we got cooking. Hi. So there's the Kim. <laughs> and here's our ghost. Let me step back. Of course she's in the window, so she's backlit. You can see I've got some lights in there with her. And uh, yeah, it might be hard to see, but as I come to the side here, you can see kind of her facial expressions and stuff. It looks pretty good from the window, honestly. But we're gonna wait to the night to really show you guys what it looks like. Um, hopefully, the, I, we drug a sheet. It's actually the one of the old curtains here because those aren't worth saving. But um, and I strung the lights inside that. Hopefully, it'll make her glow a little bit. Um, so we're gonna hope that that works. But of course, I can't test that until nighttime. But I think she's rather creepy. And uh, you know, if she doesn't end up working too, too well in the window, I think I'll just go ahead and put her out in the yard because I think that'll get a few people to, you know, at least double take once or twice, be like, wait, what did I just see? Because uh, when you can kind of see her all at once, she does really look creepy and translucent. So 
let's uh, wait for night time and I'll come check back in with you guys. Okay guys, so our little wire ghost is complete. Um, however, we ran her for one night outside and the effect isn't so good in a window. So we put her outside, she looks really awesome there. Let's go have a look. Before we even head on out, you can kind of see her there on the other side of my car, looking quite spooky. So there she is. Of course it's crazy when you get her on the lighter or the darker side, how her form changes. But you know, pretty convincing little trick I think. And you know, if you catch her at the right light at the right time, uh, she might give you a bit of a fright. Um, she definitely <laughs> looks like a ghost. So I think it did, came out pretty well. And then, uh, you know, if you get a little bit closer, you can kind of see some of the little sculpted facial features I did. You know, a bit of a nose, some of her hair and stuff, and her hat. So yeah, I think she came out pretty well. So yeah, quite like that effect. I'm hoping next year to kind of do a little bit better with it. Um, I want to do the family sitting out front like they were in that old photo I have of the house, the uh, one from 1892. I think that will look really amazing, have a bench out there, have everything kind of put together, like and just recreate that family photo with uh, wire ghosts. However, the fact that that thing read very well outside and not very well inside means I still want a ghost to my second floor window. So I went today, I got some resources, and I've built a little thing. So quick little time lapse of me painting this uh, piece and I'll show you what I've put together. So let me show you what I'm working with. So before us are three items. One item is a little boy, uh, or a little boy mannequin. And uh, I just dressed up in a Halloween costume. I was looking for something a bit more, you know, uh, Victorian. They didn't really have anything. Um, this is just a piece of foam board that I painted black. And this is a piece of glass. Actually one from some of the storm windows. So for cycling here, it uh, needs to be cleaned. But essentially what I'm trying to set up here is a Pepper's Ghost Illusion. Uh, you may know this as some of the stuff that you see in Disneyland and like the Haunted Mansion and things like that. Um, it was originally a Victorian theater um, way of projecting a ghost. And it's literally glass and tricks and mirrors and uh, just lighting things correctly. So uh, it's going to go over here in this window. We're on the second floor, so I probably have to tilt it down slightly. The, uh, the glass, that is. And uh, yeah, as soon as it gets dark, we should have a ghost. So I'm going to set up a time lapse of me setting this thing up, and uh, we'll get going. Alright guys, so I have our little Pepper's Ghost experiment all set up. It is working. Uh, let me show you what it looks like in the room and then we'll get you, go outside and I'll show you what it looks like out there. So, uh, see you in a second. Alright, so here in the space you can see the, the foam. And as we walk around, you can see the ghost. Now note this is a bit brighter because my camera tends to want to brighten things up a bit, a bit more than they are. But there she is. She kind of looks like she has a mustache for whatever reason. Let's maybe fix that. <laughs> but that's what she looks like. And if you can see, we're getting a bit of a, ooh, is it gonna do it? There it is. See the reflection out there? That's essentially what's going on. Here's me, hello. So this is kind of the effect on the outside, except this piece of glass is the one you'll see it on, this one here. There we go. And so I've actually got it tilted slightly at an angle to push the reflection down. Uh, as you can see, I've used a clamp and some shims to do such a thing. So let me go show you what it looks like outside now. So here we are outside. You can see that window right there is the one to focus on. And as I walk across this way, you'll see a magical spooky ghost appear in the window. So essentially that's, uh, that's how it works, guys. You can get yourself a little projected, see-through, clear ghost by using a little bit of glass and something spooky to project. And of course, a little bit of very selective lighting. And then you get to the other side and she disappears. Ooh.
So there you guys go. There's my two fun little Halloween projects for this year. Next year, we're gonna do it up a bit more. I have some bigger plans. These are really just tests for next year. So next year should be really fun. I think uh, we might do the front parlor with a bunch of uh, fun little pepper ghosty things and uh, definitely put the Brown family out front with those wire ghosts. Cause I think that would be so cool to create that photo again in that wire mesh system. I think that'd be really cool. So thank you guys all so much for watching as usual. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe you guys got a little bit of inspiration out of my, my goofy little ghost projects. And uh, I had a lot of fun with them and I can't really wait till next year because I'm gonna do something quite a bit bigger. You know, have a little bit more planning, just figure it all out. And uh, so yeah, really, really excited about that. Thank you all again. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week and I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye-bye.